Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you have a problem where a brake light does not work, stay with us, we'll explain what often causes that, how to fix it, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays with a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure you stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that for edge for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So guys, if a brake light doesn't work, what can easily cause that? We're going to demonstrate on that generation for that right here. Now, guys, multiple things. But first thing, what do you need to check? Brake light bulbs, right? Number one thing is the bulbs. Check your bulbs. Now, when you replace a brake light bulb, make sure you get the exact same part number. Sometimes the bulbs look exactly the same, but there are different bulbs and they will not work. Another thing, when you replace the bulb, don't touch the glass part with your fingers. The oil from your fingers will make it run hot and it will, uh, it will actually burn the bulb pretty quickly. Next, the connector behind the... Uh, the brake light needs to be checked as well because sometimes people will not plug it all the way in. But what else we see quite often in the garage? You need to check some fuses, up to five different fuses, guys, and you will need to check one more device. But before we continue, many people that own that generation for that do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes in it. We recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location for that. Go ahead and open the hood. Now, well, actually, yes, the hood here. We need to, guys, uh, come to the driver's side. That's your car battery. That's the fuse box here. Press these two tabs, open the cover. You're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that, that do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here guys we need to check two fuses then we need to go to a different fuse box and check three more and something else now guys let's zoom in please make sure to stand till the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us that's fuse number 56 57 58 59 and 60 these two fuses will need to be checked guys then you need to open the driver door and come to the uh, under the dash on the driver's side. That's the food well compartment. That's your parking brake paddle, hood open lever. Behind it on the left side, you have a cover. Open it. You're going to find that layout here. Here we need to guys check a few more fuses. You wonder which ones. Now we need to guys check fuse number 30. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we're going to go in reverse order now. 15, so that's 18. 17, 16, 15, fuse 15, 14, and 13. These three fuses, guys, here will need to be checked. Other things that can cause, guys, okay, Ford Edge, uh, brake lights not to work, Q 
could be guys a bad brake light switch that's a device on the brake pedal that detects if you apply the brakes if you want to see how to test brake light switch how to replace brake light switch on Ford vehicle we have multiple videos on our channels that would guys teach you how to do that but those are the most common things we see here at the garage so guys this generation Ford Edge has all kind of different fuses and relays fuses and relays that could be really hard to find especially if you live in a small town if you're in the middle of nowhere one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came so we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.